get ready for Q4! And as always, we're staying in a world-class city. Are you guys prepared or what? Totally. I'm ready for battle. You're not even playing in the tournament. Get a grip, yo. He probably means the battle of cheering hard. <laughs> with the other teams if you let me play a game or two? I could fill in if you get sick. <laughs> Is the pressure making you feel ill? <laughs> I've learned to ignore him over time. <laughs> the waterfront is incredible. Yeah, it's something. I can't wait to see it lit up at night. I'm traveling the world with the girl of my dreams. I'll win my first match and show her how strong I am. And then she'll say, Your performance has melted my heart. Thanks, but what's up with that outfit? What do you mean, Kamui? I'm wearing my wedding dress. Then that means my proposal was accepted. Found it. This must be the event center for Hong Kong stage. Huh? Hold on a second. Where'd this wall come from? Oh, oh man. <gasps> oh, my bad. I didn't see you down there. When you're a giant like me, it's not easy to keep track of all the little things. Like you. <laughs> He's enormous. No kidding, yo. Can you two speed it up already? Sorry, I'm coming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Look at him! Who are they supposed to be? Normal size, super size, tiny size, quite a weird group. It looks like they're one of the teams. Must be. That ogre did say something about the VF circuit. Hmm, wait. Do you know something? Well, I'm pretty sure I saw them featured in the latest Vanguard Monthly, but why do I have to be so bad at remembering these things? Because you're a fool. Huh? A fool? What? They are one of the favorite teams to win the Hong Kong stage. Everyone should know who they are, right? I guess. <sighs> We're going. Mm. Speed it up. What's that girl's problem? They sure are cute. <laughs> I only have eyes for Corrin, buddy. To the card fighters gathered here today, and to our thousands of fans, it's time to get started with the VF Circuit Hong Kong stage. Hong Kong, you waited long. Indeed, Dr. O. I'm so oh, excited. This'll be great. Come on, Q4! Meow! 
Before we start explaining the new format for this stage of the tournament, please help me welcome Ultra Rare. I'm Rekka. And I'm Corin. Suiko here, and together we are the, the Ultra, Ultra Rare. Rare. Where have you been, my darling girl? I missed you! A big thanks to our fans. And boy, do we have a nice surprise in store for you. Because in this stage, we'll be taking two of each team's three members for a four-person brawl. Everyone starts with five cards in their hand, and the first team to deal nine damage will be the one moving on. These talented teams are gonna have to work really hard if they want to outfight each other. And we've got a new name for this special format. It's, it's a, a Vanguard, Vanguard tag, tag Fight! fight. Tag fight, huh? Ha! We've got this one in the bag. How hard could it be to remember some rules? I'd like to take a minute to explain how these card fights are gonna work. I hope that clears it up. That crazy speech turned my brain to buzz! Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we check out our first matchup, and more importantly, the teams? From Team Lau, Terrence and Felix! And they'll be facing off against Team Q4's Misaki Tokura and Aichi Sendo. I hope Kamui's okay sitting out. He'll like it just fine after we win. Are you ready to go? Sure am. So first he goes, then him, and ah, this sucks! Sorry, but if you can't wrap your head around the rules, we aren't gonna let you play, Kamui. Emmy came all the way to Hong Kong to cheer him on. What a downer. Sad times, yo. Do your best, Aichi. I've never played with a partner before. I don't know what to expect, but we've got to win this thing. Because I'm not going home empty-handed. A tag fight. So we got to work together? <laughs> That's right up our alley. Show them what we're made of, boys. <laughs> We've got ourselves a race to nine damage with the winner moving forward. Brace yourself for some slamming epic action. Let's imagine. Let's play some vent. Yo, I uh, forgot. It's the ultra rare that'll start this off. Oh, silly us. The first card fight of the Hong Kong stage. Team Lao against Team Q4. Go ahead. You guys know what to do. Stand, Stand up! My Vanguard! Spring Breeze Messenger! Military Dragon Raptor Soldier! Little Witch Lulu! Military Dragon Raptor Soldier! What is it? What is it? I'm sure I've read something about this Team Lao. Okay, our very first tag team fight. This'll be fun. They can't attack until after the third turn. I draw. Military Dragon Raptor Sergeant, ride. Raptor Soldier skill. I check the top seven cards of my deck for a copy of Raptor Colonel or Raptor Captain, and then add it to my hand. Oh, and having a Raptor Soldier in the soul gives Sergeant a 1,000 power boost. My turn. I ride Emerald Witch Lala. Then I'm gonna ride Sonic Noah. With its skill, Raptor Soldier slides into the rear guard. That marks the end of the third turn. From here, it'll be an all-out war. And when I say that, I don't actually mean that there will be a war, but rather that both of these teams are gonna show a lot of aggression. Okay, as much fun as it is to listen to Dr. O's crazy ramblings, how about we turn our attention back to the battle? I'm the first one that gets to attack. Player of the Holy Axe, Nimue. Spring Breeze Messenger moves to the back. The attacks in a tag fight can only target the player in front of you. Boosted by Spring Breeze Messenger, Nimue attacks Raptor Sergeant. Drive check. Damage check. Nothing on this one. 
I end my turn. Mm, uh, how many damage is nine supposed to be? Comes after eight. And they're gonna have to work together if they want to stop that from happening. But the rules strictly state that the teammates can't discuss strategy or take a look at the cards in each other's hands. Mm. How are you supposed to cooperate with someone if you can't talk to them? It's testing to see just how connected these players are. I hope that training camp paid off. Draw. I ride military dragon raptor captain. With my Raptor Captain skill, since I have Raptor Sergeant in the soul, he gets an extra 1,000 power. The Raptor series. They're part of the new booster set. Activating Raptor Sergeant's ability. When I ride Raptor Captain on top of it, as long as I have Raptor Soldier in the soul, then I get to superior call a Raptor Sergeant from my deck. Check it out! A simple ride, and yet I get to use two different skills. Gotta love that synergy. <sighs> New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now. Don't forget to look out for this. Bushy Road. New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now. Don't forget to look out for this. Bushy Road. Calling Brachio Carrier and Brachio Porter. Boosted by Raptor Sergeant, Raptor Captain charges in. I don't guard. Drive trigger check. Critical trigger, giving the power to Brachio Carrier. And the critical stays with my captain. <sighs> Boosted by Brachio Porter, Carrier Dragon Brachio Carrier coming at ya. Damage check. That's the end of my turn. Giant dude is as strong as he looks. There's still a long way to go. At this time, we've got Team Q4 at three damage and Team Lao at a single point. Lao's managed to jump off to a very quick lead. Next up, it's Misaki Tokura. It's important that she gets some damage through here. I draw. Ride, Oracle Guardian Wise Man. Let's go! Wise Man takes aim at Sonic Noah. Drive trigger check. I check for a damage trigger. Boosted by Oracle Guardian Gemini, Silent Tom takes aim. Silent Tom makes Grade Zeroes cower in fear. They can't stop him. She's really got her opponent in a tricky spot. Nice one. Hey there. Yes! They're showing the VF circuit. I end my turn. I draw. Riding Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. I call. He has the Raptor series, but he's not using one for his Grade 3 Vanguard. What are those two planning? Skype Terra Lens Support to Mega Rex against your Vanguard. Drive trigger check. Checking damage. Boosted by my Soldier Assault Dragon, Lytops will crush Silent Tom. He's going after her rear guards. Oracle Guardian Nike will stop that. <laughs> hmm. With that, the turn changes hands. Aichi will be going after Terrence. Stand and draw. 
I ride player of the holy bow, Vivian. I call huh? Flash Edge Valkyrie and Blade Feather Valkyrie. Spring Breeze Messenger gives a boost to Vivian Strike. Dragonbird Fire Terex will guard that. Drive check. Boosted by Blade Feather Valkyrie, Flash Edge Valkyrie takes flight. Ironclad Dragon Shield on will guard that. Good job. You saved me. Why'd the little guy get to guard? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to let him step in. <laughs> They're utilizing the tag guard. What's that mean? It's pretty cool. Players can use the cards in their hand to shield their teammates, though this same rule doesn't apply to the intercepting or the nullifying of attacks. Hmm. It gives defending a whole new twist, meaning that the size of a player's hand is more important than it's ever been. This is where the tag fight gets really fun. For us, that is. It won't be too good for our poor opponents. <laughs> my turn's over. Guess that means it's my turn. Stand and draw. Ironclad Lizard, your unstoppable arsenal strikes fear into my foes. I ride Military Dragon Raptor Colonel. And of course, with a Raptor Captain in the soul, I add an additional 1,000 power to my Raptor Colonel. Then, because I rode this unit on top of Raptor Captain, and I have Raptor Sergeant in the soul, I superior call another Captain. What an impressive use of the Raptor series. Not only did he power up his vanguard, but he made the most of their superior call abilities. The power of his formation just blasted through the roof. I can't wait to see what Terrence does with this opportunity. Raptor Captain takes aim at Vivian. I guard with Speeder Hound. With a boost from Raptor Sergeant, Raptor Colonel coming in. I don't have enough to stop it. No guard. I check the twin drive. The first and second. Wow, would you look at that? Giving the power to Brachio Carrier and the critical to my Colonel. <laughs> I've already got five damage. That's not all. <sighs> With a boost from Brachio Porter, Brachio Carrier. Smashes you. I don't guard. Damage check. I got a heal trigger. Vivian powers up. Recovering one damage. Once again, Team Lau has taken a huge lead. Six damage against three. I can't believe it. Another three damage because of me. What am I doing? I didn't realize his hand was so weak. He's got to hang in there a little longer. My turn. I stand and draw. Mm. Battle Maiden of the Red Order. Blow these guys away! Yeah! I ride Scarlet Witch Coco! Hmm. Moving Little Witch Lulu to the rear guard, and then I activate Lulu's skill. Her soul blast! Letting me draw one card. No, oh, this is getting good. Huh? Since Misaki has Coco as her vanguard right now, this soul blast is gonna give her access to another couple of skills. Oh. Coco's ability. When I have her as my vanguard, and there's one or less cards in the soul, I can counter blast and draw two. Look at that! She's met all the criteria for the counter blast with only a single card sitting in the damage zone. Indeed. Normally, she wouldn't be able to activate this with so few. Luckily. Wait, what's going on here? You see, they said early on that these teams share damage. What? Simply put, she'll be able to use Aichi's damage to pay for this skill. Hmm. This is another very important feature of the tag fight format. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know we could do stuff like that. Hmm. Call. With Emerald Witch Lala's skill, if there are no units in the soul, I can discard one card from my hand. 
and draw. I call. Coco and Lala are able to activate their ability because Lulu left the soul empty. Nice one. And this card fight is just starting to heat up. With Lulu's boost, Battle Sister Glacé attacks Mega Rex. Glacé's skill. If the soul has zero units at the start of battle, 3,000 power is added. <sighs> All right. This strategy of having an empty soul is starting to pay off. Ah! Coco attacks with Lala's boost. And since the soul is empty, I add 3,000 power to this one, too. Oh, boy! <gasps> Another power-up! <sighs> Twin drive check. Got it. A critical trigger. The critical stays with me, and the power goes to Silent Tom. Yeah! Incredible! She's dishing out damage like it's going out of style! She's got him on the run now. Misaki, you're awesome. Next, with a boost from Gemini. This'll be the fourth damage this turn. There's no way that kid is gonna be able to guard Silent Tom's attack. Not happening. Ironclad Dragon, Steel Saurus, and Carry Trilobite will put a stop to that, thank you. <gasps> what? But that's a zero, huh? I was worried that something like this was going to happen. Silent Tom prevents his opponent from using grade zeros to guard. But in two-on-two, -two, your opponent is the person you're attacking. Tom's ability has no effect on what Terrence decides to do with his cards. <laughs> Bet you thought you were getting that one through on us. Who are these guys? This new style should be weird for everyone, but the way they're playing, it's like it doesn't even bother them. Yeah, I noticed that myself. They're executing a perfect team strategy, even though they're not able to talk to each other. Incredible teamwork. <gasps> what? Team Lao. It's a group of three brothers. Yeah? They don't exactly look like brothers. It's finally coming back to me. The oldest is Kenneth. The middle brother is Terrence, and Felix is the youngest. This isn't good. Being related gives these guys an unfair advantage in the tag format. Everything hinges on who works better together. You serious? I sure am. Playing in sync with your partner is extremely important, and Aichi and Misaki don't have anywhere near the same level of experience as these two. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed yourself, Q4, because Team Lao is about to send you packing. <laughs> <gasps> it's like they're reading each other's minds. What is with these two?
so confusing. Don't worry, Kamui, it's easy. So in this matchup, we have card fighters A, B, C, and D, and ah, Aichi and Misaki are in trouble. Ah. Bro, Misaki, you guys are in the driver's seat. If anyone can get their head around these crazy rules, it's you. We've been pushed into a corner. How will we ever come back from this? Next time, power of the tag fight. I'm glad to see the two of you coming together. It's my turn. Let's do this. We're right in the thick of things here at the Hong Kong stage. Team Q4 and Team Lao are making the most out of this tag fight. Currently, we've got Felix attacking Misaki. Stand and draw. Time to wake up. Invincible Lizard, ride! Tyrant Death Rex. And I call. My raptor captain takes aim at your silent talk. Man, he really wanted Tom off the field. Boosted by winged dragon Skype Terra, Death Rex is charging in. Death Rex is looking hungry. He gains 5,000 power thanks to his skill. I don't guard. Twin drive check. Come on, baby. Checking damage. Since he damaged you, I get to choose a rear guard unit and move it over to the drop zone. Then I counter blast. Moving Skype Terra out of the drop zone and back into my hand. Hmm. Just like that? He gets it back into his hand? The size of a player's hand is important in determining the outcome of a game and even more so in a tag fight. What? Think about it. Next with a boost from Gemini. Not happening. Ironclad Dragon, Steel Source, and Carry Trilobite will put a stop to that, thank you. <gasps> what? Felix that must be planning to use that card for <laughs> another big tag guard. Bet you thought you were getting that one through on us. Oh, yeah, you called that a tag card. Tag guard, Kamui. You can use the cards in your hand to defend your teammate on their turn. The team that wins this matchup is going to be the one that puts together the best defensive plays. In other words, card advantage is the deciding factor in this game. I wish that wasn't the case. Boosted by Raptor Soldier, Assault Dragon Blytops charges! Dark Cat will guard. Fine, I'm finished. And it's seven damage against six. Team Lao barely holding on to the lead. Sorry, Misaki. I wasn't any help to you there. My hand is lacking in defensive power. I'll have to make up for it with my next attacks. Stand and draw. Now. Light breaks in through the darkness. Inspiring my forces caught deep in the fray! I ride! Pelinor's armed and ready! Huh? I've never heard of him. Normally, he would have ridden Blonde Ezel there. It's one of the changes he's made. And I think having Pelinor in this situation is gonna work out well for Aichi. It seems to me like he's getting in sync with his gold paladins these days. Call. Slagle Double Edge's ability. I counter blast. And 2,000 power is added. Let's do that one more time. Double Edge can really make use of the cards in the damage zone. That ability can be activated over and over again. He sure increased his power on the double. Here we go, Slagle. Boosted by Nimue, Double Edge charges your vanguard. Black Cannon Tiger will guard that. 
Raptor Captain will intercept. <clears throat> Boosted by Spring Breeze Messenger? Helenor's coming in! We're sitting at seven damage. It's still a long way to go. But at least I have Pelinor's limit break to get me there. Slagle, Double Edge, and Nimue back into the deck! Turning two rear guards to the deck was a cost I had to pay. Giving 5,000 power to two of my units is part of my limit break. The Moonlight Energy Razor! <sighs> Twin drive check. Critical trigger! Keeping the critical! Ah! Flash edge powers up! <laughs> These vanguards hitting for two damage. The second check. Not another trigger! Draw trigger! Flash Edge gets the 5,000 power! And I draw! Ah! Damage trigger check! <sighs> Tough luck. <laughs> nice! Q4 is taking the lead. Now using Messenger's skill! Counter Blast! Messenger moves to the soul! Superior Call, Lopier Shooter! Wow, Aichi really kept the pressure on when he used that move to call a standing unit to the field. And I'm thinking that he's probably got some more tricks up his sleeve. With Lopier Shooter's skill, I discard one card from my hand and check the top of my deck for a gold paladin to Superior Call! Gigantech Commander! Another unit has just appeared in front of Aichi Sendo's battle formation. It'll be interesting to see how his opponents choose to deal with this extra full strength attack. Lop ear, shooter, and messenger. A slick combination play like that could spell the end for Team Lao. Oh, yeah! And it gets even better. Not only does he have another attack, but his flash edge is still boosted by that double drive trigger. I've got two units standing ready. That's enough to end the game right here. I need one more damage and I intend to get it. Gigantech Commander, go! And thanks to his skill, if I have more units in my rear guard than Terence does, another 3,000 power is added. Brachio Carrier will guard that! <clears throat> Boosted by Blade Feather, Flash Edge takes flight! I guard with Black Cannon Tiger. It's getting through. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> Carry Trilobite will also step in. <laughs> Over to you. I can't believe those guys held him off. Stopped them both. This looks bad, yo. Q4 had it within their grasp, but that final damage was beyond their reach. The struggle goes on. I should have been able to end this card fight. But once again, their tag guard skills got the best of me. This is a matter of teamwork, and nobody is going to defeat me and my brother. Because it's my turn up next, and I say we finish this. <sighs> Vi Schwartz! It, it's snowing! Let's have a snow festival! Three Zero, starting live in another world. Memory Snow Booster Pack. On sale from August 28th. Bushy Road. Vi Schwartz! Come join Rimuru as it embarks on a new life journey as a slime on the stage of Vi Schwartz. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Trial Deck Plus and Booster Pack, now on sale. Bushy Road. If I can get through his turn, Misaki should be able to end this thing. I've got to find a way to do it. 
Stand and draw. Call. Citadel Dragon, Brachio Castle attacks your Flash Edge Valkyrie. Gigantech Commander will intercept that. Now he's used up his intercept to save his other rear guard. Ha! Huh. Boosted by Brachio Porter, Brachio Carrier attacks Pelinor. Speeder Hound will guard that. Mm. Mm. Raptor Colonel getting a boost from my Raptor Sergeant. Check out this limit break. With Raptor Colonel skill, counter blast. Brachio Castle and Brachio Carrier retire. Those units will give their power to the Colonel for this turn. But wait, Brachio Castle follows up. Counter Blast. Superior Call. Transport Dragon, Brachio Porter. And Brachio Carriers next. Counter Blast. Superior Call, Brachio Castle. <sighs> this combination play was made possible through a clever mix of the Brachio series and the Raptor series. Hope you're ready for this. The Double Dragon Buster. <laughs> Since I've already weakened your defenses, you think you have what it takes to stop me? I have to do everything I can. Guard! And I intercept with Flash Edge. Pelinor has 35,000 power for defense. It's gonna be just strong enough. All right. I can hold him off as long as he doesn't draw a trigger here. I guard with Gemini. <laughs> Misaki? There's no guarantee he won't pull something. <sighs> hold the phone! Q4 has brought the action to a halt with their own brilliant use of the tag guard! They figured out how to tag garden! You're so hopeless, Kamui. Let's take a look at the twin drive. Second check. <gasps> Activating heal trigger. That's 5,000 power to Brachio Castle, and one damage is recovered. Yes, looks like we're back down to seven. Terrence has pulled a heal trigger out of thin air. Team Lau is really hanging in there. The score is now tied. It's so close! It's back and forth like... like... It's so <laughs> oh, exciting! Indeed! <laughs> he survived! Yeah, but Team Lao still has another attack left for him to deal with. Aichi's used up every card in his hand and both of his intercepts are gone as well. Boosted by Brachio Porter, Brachio Castle will unleash. Battle Sister Ginger guards that. <gasps> no way! Now that's tag gardening! Uh, sort of. Their teamwork is certainly growing, I guess. Huh? Misaki. No fair. Insane! They've escaped the limit break attack and all those combo plays without taking any damage! That's my team. You can do it! <clears throat> if I remember right... Misaki combined the skills of Coco and Lulu. Moving little witch Lulu to the rear guard, and then 
I activate Lulu's skill. <laughs> Letting me draw one card. With her ability. When I have Coco as my vanguard and there's one or less cards in the soul, I can activate her counter blast and draw two more. Hmm. Call. Emerald Witch Lala's skill. If there are no units in the soul, I can discard one card from my hand. I draw. And call. Those moves she made. She was trying to build up the size of her hand. Because she knew we needed more defensive cards to win this. Huh. You're pretty much out of gas after stopping Terence's limit break. But the other team's in a bad spot, too. You did it, Aichi. You left them wide open. And I'm gonna finish them. Aichi and Misaki, huh? They really do make a great team. What? Aichi's attacks have dealt a lot of damage, while Misaki's more focused on the defense. A well-balanced pair, I'd say. I think that they're working together a lot better than the brothers of Team Lao ever thought they were going to. Stand and draw. Call. Sky Witch Nana's skill. She gains 1,000 power when there are no cards in my soul. With a boost from Lulu, Glacé's coming for Death Rex. With her skill, 3,000 power is added to her attack as long as there are no cards in the soul. They made it through the last turn with no damage. We'll have to do the same. I guard with Raptor Sergeant and intercept with Blytops. How much shield does he have? Hmm. Hmm. With a boost from Lala, Coco attacks. Coco's skill. With no cards in the soul, she gets the same boost. I guard. In order to guard against the twin drive, I'll need another 10,000. But, without a trigger, this raptor captain would be enough. I guard oh. the steel source. Nice one. Hmm. Checking the drive triggers. First check. Second check. Critical trigger is online. Adding 5,000 power to Nana, plus one critical. Yeah, go for it, girl! Beat that super lame Tachikaze clan! Um, uh, you can keep your opinions to yourself. Mm -hmm. We believe in you! Go, go, go! Let's get that win, yo! Team Lao is acting tough, but I think this is as far as they were able to hold. Come on, Misaki! Boosted by Gemini? Go, Nana! Raptor Captain intercepts! But Captain Shield isn't going to be enough on its own. In order to properly guard this attack, I'm going to need Terrence to lay down another 10,000. <sighs> if he drops a shield right now, this game is over. Nice. I'm sorry, buddy. We're just gonna have to hope for a heal trigger this time. Trigger, first check. <laughs> Once more, second check. a spot in the second round. What a wonderful effort from both our teams. <laughs> we won! We won! Yeah! 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 <laughs> nice one. That was a really great game. Hmm? <laughs> Aichi Misaki, 
You were amazing! That was one of the best games I've ever seen. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Huh? <laughs> I've learned the rules and I know how to take guard. Uh -huh. What? Is he making things up? <laughs> I think you mean tag guard. Huh? It was your first time playing in that kind of match, and yet the two of you fell into your roles perfectly. Yeah? Well, thanks. It seemed like she realized what needed to be done before you. Hey, congrats. It's Team Lau! Thanks. And you're totally right about Misaki being the brains of the team. Uh, I followed her lead, and by doing so, I was able to get some amazing attacks in. Admit it. I'd say I was the first to take control, but... You handled yourself like a pro out there. We did. <laughs> Your teamwork really rocks. <laughs> we obviously have a lot more training to do. My ego got the best of me, and I thought no one could beat the synergy of the Brothers Lao. In the end, we were beaten by the better team. There's no shame in that. Thanks for the great card fight. The pleasure was all ours, thank you. You better play like that in the next round. Later, guys. The Hong Kong stage has only just begun, and already, it's been pretty amazing. Ready for the next step? Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna learn these rules if it's the last thing I do! Well, you better clear your schedule then, Kamui. Look who's talking! You understand less about this game than anyone! That's so? Name one thing I don't know! Sure, great threes can't be used to intercept. That's because the manufacturer has We've a got to keep the winds coming. We don't have any other choice. Aichi, your new partner is here. If he teamed up with you, he wouldn't have a chance. It'd be like a two-on-one. It wouldn't be that bad. You fool. Who wouldn't want a partner with an awesome deck of grade three action? <laughs> I wonder who we're up against next. Team Battle Weeds? Next time, the Entangling Weeds. Oh, man, the team of tiny twerps. It's like watching a bunch of movies in the same room. Who are you calling a twerp? <laughs> Looks like another great day. Uh, hey. Where'd Kamui go? Huh? Hmm. Oh, hey there, sleepyhead. 
Morning, Emmy. Are you ready to take on the world? Sure am. You look refreshed. You must have got a good sleep. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I thought I'd see Kamui downstairs. Morning, gang. Huh? Come on, grab a seat. <sighs> oh, he's studying. It took you guys long enough. Get over here. You gotta try some of my ultimate meat platter. Please don't make him eat the whole thing. <laughs> I guess everyone's up. Morikawa, when you're in Hong Kong, you could at least have kanji for breakfast. I'm not eating that. It's too early for rice slop. I'll stick to my meat tray. Oh, because eating a whole tray of meat is a balanced breakfast. Eat up, Misaki. Hmm? You've got to have something. Mm. Otherwise, you won't be able to focus on your card mm. fights later. <sighs> Thank you for breakfast! It's so good! I kick back with mm. that. Their mm. stuff is incredible! Ooh, I like it! I love it! I can't believe this! That's mm. good! Ah! My brain is gonna explode! You need to relax, Kamui. Mm. Listen to Reiji, yo! Mm. Weirdo. He studied too hard. I think it may have fried his brain. That's a shame. Oh, he's still learning how to tag fight. The rules are not that tricky. He's overthinking it. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Sorry, guys. I just don't get it. You'll have to go on without me. Why do they have to make this format so tricky? It's unfair. Calm down, man. Knock it off. This is a public place, so put a sock in it. Looks like I'm not great. Not in Hong Kong. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me. Or my limit break! IG Sendo takes it to the next level with a limit break! Let's go, Blue Boy! We believe in you! Is Kamui gonna have to sit out for all of today's matches, too? It's starting to look that way. Maybe he'll be in the next fight after they win this one. I wouldn't count on it. <sighs> He's still studying. Uh, you're kidding me! When guarding, both players can use cards from their hand but not intercept? And when attacking, you have to... the person across? Hmm. With a boost from Ryan, Jin of the Lightning Flash will blast Coco! Ryan's skill stops me from intercepting. I guard that with Speeder Hound. Uh, Emerald Witch Lala will join in! <sighs> Scarlet Witch Coco takes aim! Blondezzle is charging at your vanguard! <sighs> We're, We're finished. finished. Nice job. <laughs> and the winners of our fourth quarterfinal matchup are none other than Team Q4. Aichi Sendo and Misaki Tokura. Now that's what I call teamwork, y'all. Well, what an incredible game. With your combination plays, it's like you're reading each other's minds. Aichi deserves most of the credit for whipping out that impressive tag guard. Thank you. Anytime. You know, once you get the hang of these tag fights, they're actually pretty fun. I think we found the format for the next shop tournament when we get home. Works for me. Mmm. Oh, I don't know if Kamui would appreciate that. Hey, Aichi. Uh, what's up? I'm ready to compete in the next matchup. I've studied this carefully and watched all of your guys' games. I know I can do this. I'll pull my weight, bro. I'm begging you. Of course you can play. You're a huge part of Team Q4. I think Misaki and Kamui should take this next one. Does that work for you? Yeah, sure. I'll sit out. <sighs> it's settled. I leave it in your hands. Okay. Oh, wow! I promise to do my very best! <sighs> That's the spirit. Let's figure out our semifinal pairings. <gasps> Card fighters, please stand at the ready. No rest for the wicked, huh? The last battle just <gasps> ended. I huh? think Kamui's gonna play. You oh, might yeah, be right. Bro. Show those guys what we're made of. Thanks. You know I will. And kicking off the first match of our semifinal round, we're going to have Team Q4 facing off against the newcomers, Team Battleweeds. Hmm. 
I have a note written down here about the battle weeds. It says all three of them use the Neo Nectar Clan as a way to show their support for our natural surroundings. Their sponsor is an organic produce company that specializes in soy cheese. If they win, we get a cheese play. They're aiming for the sky and they've been uprooting their opponents one win at a time. Let's see if they have what it takes to get me some cheddar. Yes, please. Well, let's get to it. Their opponents today, Tokura and Katsuragi? <laughs> Katsuragi has been sitting out for the entire Hong Kong stage so far. That's weird. Aichi Sendo was on a hot streak. Oh, I love it when teams switch it up like this. I can't wait. Let's play Vanguard. Tag style. I want to see you two shred that other team. Sure, obviously. Huh, I like it. Quadrifolio. <laughs> Guess we found ourselves a four-leaf clover. Ripe right for the picking. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. I'll be good. I'm good, aren't I? Ah, would you hurry up and start the game? I can feel the rules flowing out of my brain with each passing second. Oh, stop the leaks. Oh, get me some earplugs and nose plugs. Yeah. What else can I plug? The first team to get to nine damage is going. Get it together. You're the uh, one who wanted to play, and it's too late to back out. We can only depend on each other now. Misaki. Phew, I'm feeling better about this. Oh, good. Both teams ready? This is it. Time to prove what I'm worth. Stand up, my Vanguard! Rockalini Musketeer, Kira. Little Witch, Lulu. Battle Razor. <gasps> That's the Oracle Think Tank. And a Nova Grappler, too. Did we hear the name of your team incorrectly? You guys aren't Team Quadrifolio? Mm. That's our name. What's the problem? The problem is the little four-leaf clover that you robbed. You're disgracing the name of your plant by using those trashy decks. Think you're better than Neo Nectar or something? <sighs> uh, I never thought about it like that. Um, why can't we just use whatever clan we enjoy the most? I refuse to let the two of you tarnish the gentle clover. Apologize to plants, you insults mm. to nature. If you love plants, then why are you weeds? Yeah, weeds are the ones that your mom gives you a dollar to rip out of the garden. Are there good weeds? People go out of their way to get rid of them, right? I know. There sure are. Weeds are super strong. They can take a beating, mm -hmm. growing freely wherever they find sun and soil. And it's that willingness to stand up in the face of adversity that makes weeds the kings of the plant kingdom. Plant? Kingdom? That's weird. I stopped paying attention. <sighs> Well, they sure are energetic. Save some for the fight. The weeds are not, King! Cause first you gotta beat Q4! Do you think that's hard? With your inferior decks, there's no way you'll stand up to an assault from the plant warriors of Neo Nectar. Let's go! Guess I've got a new hobby, weed whacking! The Great One's back! About time he showed up! Get him, Kamui! Do this! Come on, you guys! Let's win it! You shoulda let me play! Oh man, just be nice. Emerald Witch Lala, ride! I ride Water Lily Musketeer Roof. Kira moves! Riding Razor Custom! Battle Razor slides back! I ride Water Lily Musketeer Roof! Let's go! Lily of the Valley Musketeer, Rebecca! Rebecca attacks Lala! Ah! With Kira's boost, Ruth attacks Lala. Uh. Drive trigger check. Ah! <laughs> this is it. You gotta win. New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard! Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now! Don't forget to look out for this! Bushy Road! The three clans get their new trump cards! Manifest before me! Chrono Dragon next stage! Vanguard the next stage! Now on sale! Special clan packs too! Bushy Road!
The plot thickens as Misaki Tokura rides her vanguard to grade three. Scarlet Witch Coco takes aim. Oh man, she's got me by the roots. Mr. Invincible's coming for your vanguard. I'll stop that. Coco takes aim again. These weeds know how to defend themselves. <clears throat> With the end of Q4's turn, the damage is tied at seven points each. We'll be seeing the end of this game in mere moments. The weeds shouldn't find it cl overly easy to finish this one. Do you get it? No, not at all. Someone really needs to stop with the plant theme. Seven little weeds in the damage zone. You can trample them, but they're just gonna grow back stronger. Yeah, it's time to show them our green thumbs. Mm -hmm. I stand and draw. If you don't know anything about plants, then it makes you look pretty ridiculous naming yourselves after one. Hmm? Weeds aren't put there by farmers. Their seeds are the messengers of nature, flying where they please. All they need is water and sunshine. Getting torn out and uprooted is so common, it's part of the daily routine. What's a daisy routine? You need to open your ears. He said daily routine. Ugh. As weeds, we can keep coming back stronger and stronger. No matter how many times you try to stop us, we're going to grow. And the game of Vanguard is the soil into which we plant the seed. Neo Nectar is ready to branch out. <laughs> They're so passionate. That's, That's what, what it, it means, means to be battle weeds. weeds. <clears throat> Resilience, it is what makes us strong. I ride White Lily Musketeer, Cecilia. Call. Then witness the true power of my grass blast. Limit break. <sighs> The musketeer in the drop zone goes to the bottom of my deck. Then I look for two copies of Cecilia and superior call. So by moving a unit from the drop zone to the deck, he's able to superior call two very powerful grade threes into the front row of his battle formation. That's the exact kind of explosive play that the Neo Nectar clan is known for. I dare say there may be no escape from these weeds for Q4, which means we may well be getting that delicious cheese plate after all. Uh, sure. Apparently the doctor's with the cheese people now. Every plant that dies will return to the soil and usher in the next generation of new growth. Combining with the earth, their seeds will sprout to rise up again. Watch as we grow you a beautiful end. Mm. This green stuff is getting a bit old. These loonies should stop babbling and take their turn already. I agree. Mm. We're tied at seven, and if my calculations are correct, we can only take one more damage. I told Aichi that I wouldn't let him down, and I know he's counting on me to win this. Bring it on, battle dweebs. Here goes! With a boost from Mina, Cecilia attacks Mr. Invincible. <laughs> <laughs> damage check. That's the line. Eight damage. Oh no! If they let one more through, Kamui will lose and not be great! I don't know if I can watch, yo! Don't give up! Hang in there. Boosted by Rebecca, Cecilia dashes in. Long boy will guard, and straight bouncer intercepts. Huh? Uh, twin drive check. First check, second. No trigger. With Corolla Dragon support, Cecilia's coming at ya. I didn't want to have to use this card until the next turn, but if I don't burn it right here, there won't be a next turn. Lozenge Magus will guard. Uh, Misaki! Great. They shut us down. Thanks so much. You just saved our butts. No worries. Now keep cool. Okay. Team Q4 snuck out of this round with a nail-biting eight damage. Ha! <laughs> you probably thought you had us beat, but what you garden nerds didn't factor in was the awesome teamwork skills of Saucy Misaki and Kamui the Grape. He say grape and saucy. Huh? Uh, there's huh? no way that us two are gonna change your name to a bunch of fruit. I prefer raisins. Come on, you guys. Cut me some slack. I don't have time to pronounce my words the right way. I'll end it with my ultimate move. It's the pinnacle of the Razor series coming out for a power ride. 
summoning the strength of all of my Razor rear guards, combining to create the ultimate Vanguard Perfect Razor! Perfect Razor gets an additional 3,000 power for each unit of its series in the soul! Ugh. And with four more of those bad boys in there, I've got a bonus critical! It's a machine so awesome, you forget plants even exist! World-class pesticide blasting onto the scene! I think he has a good chance to end it! This is what we trained for! <laughs> I've got more! Call! It doesn't take long to learn. Picking out weeds is easy work! You can't stop the power of nature! I'd like to see you try. <sighs> With Turbo Razor's support, Perfect Razor crashes in! When Turbo Razor boosts, an additional 3,000 power is added! Nice! That's 32,000! That's pretty good. Way to go, Kamui! Never back down! It has to go through. Of course we're gonna guard that. Elmira, Forley Fairy, Kaibon! And then I'll add Daniel! <laughs> they only managed a 35,000 point shield. If he can pull a trigger here, it'll go through. Believe in yourself and believe in your deck. I twin drive. First check. <laughs> I told everyone I would win this. Mm -hmm. yeah! <gasps> uh, no way! Looks like Lady Luck is a fan of machines too! Both effects going to Perfect Razor! <gasps> no. We damage check. Weeds have survived worse attacks than this one! Oh. Your winners from Q4, Misaki Tokura and Kamui Katsuragi! <sighs> we won. We really won! <laughs> oh, we did it! The world knows my name! <laughs> they got our roots! We lost! How is that possible? It's obvious now that they tricked us by using those inferior clans. The only reason I went easy on you is because I wanted it to look competitive! Huh? You went easy? Nice! Mm -hmm. He said it wasn't easy playing against us because we're so competitive! Hey, that's <laughs> what I heard too. Not only am I a winner, but I inspire friendship in the heart of my foes! Oh, Bebby saw. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hey, you two! You may have stomped us out! But a loss today makes us stronger tomorrow. The weeds can't be stopped that easily. Watch your backs. Later. It was nice making friends with you today. Bye. 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 You were great out there, Kamui. It was hard to wrap my head around it, but I finally understand these crazy tag fights. There's one more game left in the Hong Kong stage, and I want to make up for lost time, so please let me play. Aichi, you two go out next. You two will be playing in the championship match. Are you ready? That's right. Next is the final. I'll do my best. We're in this thing together. Nice! A pairing of epic proportions! We're bros for show! We win this, and I can finally meet Takudo. Okay, the results from the second semifinal match are in. Our championship match will commence momentarily, oh. featuring these teams! Team Q4 and Team Dreadnought! With a name like Dreadnought, I doubt they're gonna mess around. Mm. Huh? Huh? Oh. We saw those girls the other day! I've never heard of this team. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I'm starting to get a weird feeling. What do you mean, Shin? They seem fine. Yeah, but for whatever reason, I feel like we're in for a nasty surprise. Like what? The 
The wind brought me here. Uh -huh. Feel free to call me Leon. That's an Aquaforce deck. I guess some rumors are true. I ride the Marine General, Algos! Using my Vanguard's Limit Break! He's got Aqua Force. And we have to defeat him? The wind blew us here. Let's see which of us it favors. <clears throat> out there I'm ready to take on anyone we're glad to have you back great work Kamui you learned the rules like a total pro yeah I had to sit out most of the tournament but it was worth it team dreadnought I don't like this me neither I can't stop thinking about Leon and the aqua force what do we do next time all hands on deck the legendary fleet it looks bad bro but with our teamwork nothing can stop us